so the next component that we'll be looking at will be the list so what are the list so as per the name suggests lists are just a group of elements that are rendered and we can use lists for displaying the information like data or we can use for options to select and there are many more use cases where we can use list so lists are just group of elements that we can select or we can see or we can just show them and they have the child elements like the list item to get the items into the list so the list component is the parent component and then we have the child component like the list items list item buttons icons and text so these are about the list and then we can see the properties of the list what are so we have the divider property in the list item button which adds a horizontal line between the elements on the list and then we have some more properties like component to provide a new component to the list like a link component and then we can provide the sx component for this styling so now we can see about the list and we can just move on to the mui.com and then we can just search for the list So now we have the list and now you can say list are the continuous vertical indexes of the text or images and now you can say these are the basic list which we can use these are about the mail options which we see in the google mails and then these are the nested list that we can use and these are the folder list and these are the interactive list which we can interact as well so now in this video we will cover one list element with the basic list and then we will cover a nested list in this video so now we can just move on to the visual studio code to see about the list so to use the list first thing we need to do is we need to import the list from the material ui and now we can just have a box or we can just add a div it doesn't matter because they both are same and then we can just start the application as well and then till the application starts now we can just add a list so now we can just add a list so first thing we need to add as a list and then close the tag and then we need to add here specify the sx prop to define some width of the list so we can just define the width can be the 300 to that and now after the list now we need to add the item into the list and to add the item we have a list item to add the list and now after adding the list item so we have the list item inside that and so if we want the list item now to be clickable so we can just add a list item button as well and now you can just directly add the list item button instead of the list item but i will now directly go with this and now you have the list item button if you will just now see then now you have the list item button that you can click and now you can just add the icon as well so to add the icon you can have a list item and you can add the icon as well inside that so now you can see you can add the avatar as well you can add the icon as well so for the icon so for now we can just add the icon as this and after that icon we can just add the text as well inside the list so the finally then we have the text element inside the list and then it will have a list item text to add that and then we can just close this tag and this will be a self closing tag and after that we need to add the primary so the primary is used to add the text into the list so we can just add a primary and this can be a first so if i will now save if i will now just move on to the application once again i think there is an error so the box is not defined so we need to define the box as well so now the box is also imported so if i will now save if i will now move on to the application once again so now you can see now we have the first list item inside the list and now we can just have some background color as well inside the list so we can add a background and it can be a green so if i will now save so now you will see there will be a green background onto the list and the background is not looking good so we can just add here the gray as well so if i will now save now you can see now we have the list item as the first and now we can have more list items as well but this is very complex then we need to add the list item we need to add the button we need to add the icon we need to add the primary and then we need to add all of the things and then we need to add the text so we can just remove this list item for now because we will use that inside the nested list now this is how can we add the list inside material ui so now if you want to show multiple items in the list then this will not be a good approach because you need to add list item then list item button then list item text to add the list then you can just create here an array to solve this problem so const array and it will be equals to the elements so you can just add elements inside that like it can be a first element it can be a second element and it can be a third element and then it can be a fourth element and then it can be a fifth element as well so then you have some elements and now after that instead of the list item and the list item so you can just add here the expression and then you can just add an array that you have array dot map so 
so it will map the list item it will just iterate over the array and then we have the element of the list so we can have a list element and after that we can have a callback function and in the callback we can just wrap this list item till the list item from there to return the list item from there and now instead of this primary we can just remove that and then we can just add the list element here as the primary so if i will now save so now you will see all of the list item will be there as the first as the second as the third and the fourth and the fifth so now this is how can we work with the list in the material ui and then you can just add a divider as well as we have discussed in the ppt so in the button so in the list item then you can just add a divider so we need to add a divider so after adding the divider prop now you can see after the first element now you can see after every element there is a divider so now you can see there is a horizontal line with a divider so after the every element you can see that and so now we have covered the list and now it's time to cover the nested list as well so for the nested list now you can say we have the inbox and then we can see the code as well so now in the nested list we have the list and then we have the collapse which will collapse and when we specify the in prop to the true then it will just open that collapse and then and when the in prop will be false the collapse will close so we can add a collapse and in the collapse also there will be a list so now we can just try out with collapse so here we have the list and now i want this list to be inside the collapse only so for that we can just add here the collapse and then the collapse will be imported and then we can just wrap this list inside the collapse and now as we can see the collapse is a child component of the parent list so we can just add a main list on the top so we can just add a list and then inside the list then again we will have the list item for there now we have the list item and in the primary we can just add here the open list or to expand list so when the expand will be clicked so then we will see the collapse and in the collapse as we have discussed we need to pass the in prop as well so if we pass the in prop as the true so it will show the list by default onto the web page so if i will now save if i will now move on to the application now you can see you have the expand list which is the parent list and then you have the child list elements so we have given the prop as the true so that's why we can see all of the list but if we divide the but if we define the prop as the false then the list element will be now hidden now you can see now we don't have any list elements so then we can just have here the state as well for that so we can just add the use state with the open and the set open and it will be equals to the use state which we can just import then so now we have imported the use state and by default value will be equals to the false so after we have the primary like the expand list we can just have the icon as well list icon and after the list item then we can just add the icon and inside the icon then we can just add a normal string icon so we can just add here the greater than sign and after that we can just have here the on click inside the list item button so with the on click we can just have here the state in the callback function we can just add the set open property to the true so now everything is successful so now we have given the set open to the true so now inside this in now we can just add the open prop as well because now we are handling the state and after that we can just have here the on click pop inside the every button element inside the child list as well so whenever we click any element so now we need to close that list as well so for that after the button is clicked so we can just add a set open again to the false so if i will now save if i will now move on to the application once again i will now refresh now if i will now just click on the expand list now you can see the list is now expanded and we can just click on any element and now you can see the list will be closed so this is how the list work and then we can just define some styles as well to the list so it can be a margin from the left and it can be equals to the 25 and then we can just remove the background as well from there because the background is not looking good now so if i will now save now if i will now just expand the list now you can see now we have expanded the list and now we have the items like the first second third fourth fifth and we can just click on the first element again to just expand this icon as well and then we can just click here the element as well to just close the list as well so this is how the lists work in the material ui so now we have covered about the list inside the material ui